Hello everyone. In this class we are going to learn about the Toys of Peace, written by H. H. Munro, called as a Saki, as a pen name. So in this lesson, it's British writing in English. So it has been taken place in the World War time. In the Toys of Peace by Saki, we have the theme of control, childhood, freedom, fear, disappointment, and independence taken from us. The complete short story collection. The story is narrated in the third person by an unnamed narrator. And after reading the story, the reader realizes that Saki may be exploring the theme of control. Elner wishes to control both Eric and Ford's environment when it comes to the matter of them playing with toys. She feels as though they shouldn't be playing with the soldiers as it may have a negative influence on the lives of both the boys. If anything, Elner is not allowing Eric and Ford to be children and in many ways she is attempting, attempting to take away the freedom that is usually associated with the childhood. However, this is not how Elner or Hove see things. They believe that non-military toys are productive to children. For them, historical figures should be played with but not necessarily those who have bought in wars. Hence, Hove buying so many toys that symbolizes a different aspect of history. It is also possible that Elner is afraid of how the boys will develop should they continue to confine their playtime to toys with a military background. If anything, Elner is being overproductive of both Eric and Ford. They are still young and there remains a lot of time for them to develop other interests. It is also normal for a young boy to play with the soldiers. And it does not necessarily mean that by doing so, there will be a negative influence on child's life. Elna's fear appear to be driven by the fact that both Eric and Port are still innocent and may, may not really be conscious of how detrimental and devastating real war may be. Though playing with their toys is the game for both the boys, Elna has apprehensions about where it may lead to. So apprehensions which in all lively good or misguided. Again both boys are still young and have plenty of time to change their interest. They are also being influenced by their schoolwork which may be pointed that Sagi is attempting to make. He may be suggesting that should a child be asked for to research a conflict that occur in history, they will do so and enjoy adventure or perceived excitement that they think comes with a particular war or conflict. Fort, sometime which is understandable, it is also noticeable that the boys are creative when it comes to Harvey's toys. They use the toys to create a battle scene, much to the disappointment of Harvey. However, Harvey appears to be forgetting that both Eric and Fort are still children. The ways of the world outside conflict does not really interest them. If anything, both the boys may find Harvey's toys and his explanation on how to play with them boring. At least with their soldiers, the boys know that there is a battle to be won or lost, there is a conclusion which may or may not be historically accurate. Accuracy is not an issue that should be considered important. What is important is that the boys enjoy playing with their toys and that they are allowed to be children. The end of the story is also interesting as both Howe and Elna appear to admit defeat when it comes to what type of the toys the boys like to play with. The Huawei considers that it may have been too late to change the boys mind and this is not a certainty. In all livelihood as the boys grew up and mature they will discard their
old toys and play with the new toys and soon they will uh, stop playing with the toys altogether there will be other things that will grab the boys attention as they grow up despite the good intention of both how and elna the boys have not been persuaded to refine how they play with their toys nor should they be they are still young and should not be uh, should be allowed the freedom and comes with the childhood and decide for themselves what games they like to play rather than attempting to control their comfort activities elner would so has her better to accept that both boys are just children she may be disappointed but her disappointment won't last just as eric and ford playing with the soldiers won't last like a lot of young boys it just a period that they are going through it would be unhealthy to force the boys to change the game that they play as this would only lead to stifling of their independence